Welcome back, fellow Wastelanders. It's time for another edition of Fallout 4 Mods You Must Have, and this time we're taking a look at the top mods of the third week of March 2023. As always, we've scoured the Nexus and Bethesda.net to bring you the best mods to enhance your Fallout 4 experience. Whether you're a new player or a seasoned veteran, these mods are sure to add some excitement to your gameplay. Before watching the video, if you click subscribe and like once, it will help your channel grow. Without further ado, let's dive into the top Fallout 4 mods of the third week of March 2023. The first is the Shield Integration Project. The Shield Integration Project is a mod that aims to bring a new element of gameplay to Fallout 4 by adding in several new shields to the game. These shields are designed to make encounters more challenging and interesting, as they provide a new way to defend against enemy attacks. The mod currently adds 8 new shields to the game, each with its own unique properties. Players can find these shields in various locations throughout the game world, and they may also be wielded by different enemies or sold by vendors. Each faction has its own shield variation, so players can expect a wide variety of shield types to encounter. Shields are no ordinary melee weapon and can block bullets, if below their damage threshold, lasers, completely impervious, and melee attacks, although this can be finicky at times. While the mod is not perfect, it is incredibly fun to play around with and adds a unique aspect to combat in Fallout 4. Two shields can be crafted under the shields category in the chem station. Additionally, shield integration project is compatible with everything thanks to script injection, so players can enjoy the mod alongside their other favorite mods. The second is PS Boss Beds. PS Boss Beds is a mod for Fallout 4 that adds 14 new beds to the game. The mod aims to provide players with more options to customize their settlements and living spaces. With the addition of new beds, players can choose from a variety of styles and sizes to fit their needs. In addition to the new beds, the mod also includes a double bed, which is a popular request from players. The double bed provides more sleeping space for settlers, which can be especially useful for larger settlements. The new beds can be found in the furniture section of the settlement building menu and are available in different colors and styles. One of the unique features of the PS Boss Beds mod is that it is compatible with other mods that add new beds to the game. This allows players to mix and match different bed styles to create their own custom look. The third is Modern Pharmacy. The Modern Pharmacy mod is a mod for Fallout 4 that aims to replace most of the Commonwealth chems with their modern-day counterparts. The mod adds a touch of realism to the game by updating the game's drug items to more accurately reflect real-world medicine. The mod replaces items such as Buff Out, Jet, Psycho, and Med X with new versions that use modern branding and packaging. The mod features custom textures and 3D models, so the new chems look completely different from their vanilla counterparts. The new textures and models give the game a fresh look and make it feel more modern. Additionally, the mod includes new descriptions for each drug that provide more detailed information about the effects and side effects of each drug. The Modern Pharmacy mod is a great addition to Fallout 4 that adds a touch of realism to the game. The new textures and models look great, and the new crafting recipes add a level of depth to the game's crafting system. If you're looking to update the game's drug items and make the game feel more modern, the Modern Pharmacy mod is definitely worth checking out. The fourth is Institute Plasma Incinerator BFG. This mod adds a powerful new heavy weapon to the game, specifically for the Institute faction. The weapon, known as the Plasma Incinerator, is a combination of a Plasma Flamer and a Plasma LMG. The Flamer is a close-range weapon that sprays a stream of superheated plasma at targets, while the LMG fires a burst of three projectiles per shot making it devastating at medium range. To obtain the weapon, the player must be at least level 30 and encounter synths that will spawn with the weapon equipped. The mod uses scripts to inject the weapon into the game, and it requires the heavy gunner perk to use effectively. The weapon also requires ammunition in the form of plasma cores, which are available in the munitions mod. With its powerful capabilities and unique design, the Institute Plasma Incinerator BFG is an exciting addition to any player's arsenal. Overall, 
This mod adds a fresh and unique weapon to the game, providing a new way for players to take down enemies in the Commonwealth. The fifth is Clothing Scrapping Redone. Clothing Scrapping Redone is a Fallout 4 mod that overhauls the clothing and armor scrapping system. In the vanilla game, scrapping clothing and armor would only return basic materials, ignoring all the other materials that make up the item. This mod aims to fix that issue by making the scrapping system more realistic and balanced. With clothing scrapping redone, clothing and armor items will now return a wider range of materials based on what they are actually made of, with balanced amounts. This means that if a piece of clothing is made of leather, it will now return leather when scrapped, along with other materials like cloth and steel. The mod assigns a unique and balanced list of materials returned for each item, making the scrapping system more immersive and rewarding. The mod is easy to patch with other clothing mods since it's based on form lists. This means that it won't conflict with other mods that add new clothing and armor items, and those items will also be able to be scrapped for their appropriate materials. Overall, Clothing Scrapping Redone is a great mod for those who enjoy immersion and realism in their Fallout 4 experience. With this mod, scrapping clothing and armor items will now feel more realistic and rewarding, adding another layer of depth to the game's crafting system. The sixth is Nikki Valentine Fully Voiced Nick Replacer. This mod replaces the male voice lines of Nick Valentine, a major character in the game, with fully voiced female lines, voiced by the mod author herself. In addition to the voice changes, this mod also changes Nick's appearance to that of a female Valentine, with a new face taken from the mod Gina Valentine. The Gotta new appearance the includes the bolt on, making Nick a Gen 3 Questions. synth with Why some modifications. An the mod is designed to work on both PC this and thing, Xbox, well, with no additional right mod dependencies required. Right However, the hairstyle years. shown Turns in the mod the screenshots is not included in the mod download. It should be noted that this mod is the last in a series of character overhaul mods by the same author. But no, While some time, characters required only joint. minor adjustments, we'll others required custom presets and multiple mod requirements. The seventh is Type 63 SKS Redux Expansion. Type 63 SKS Redux Expansion is a mod that adds the Type 63 gun, minimally taken from Call of Duty, Cold War by Activision, to the SKS Redux mod. It is a small and lightweight expansion that requires the SKS Redux mod and is flagged ESL. The reason for separating this mod from the base SKS Redux mod is that it uses assets from Activision. Additionally, the Type 63 is a separate gun from the SKS, so it makes sense to have it as a separate mod. The Type 63 gun comes with its own stock and barrel and also has removable pieces like a dust cover and back sight. It has two fire modes and four recolors of Activision's textures, including a, the pack, color. It is important to note that the Type 63 gun uses many attachments from the SKS Redux mod, so loading it afterwards is recommended. In summary, the Type 63 SKS Redux expansion mod is a lightweight mod that adds the Type 63 gun to the SKS Redux mod, based on Activision assets. It comes with its own stock, barrel and removable pieces, and has two fire modes and four different color options. This mod is a separate entity from the base SKS Redux mod and requires it as a hard requirement. And that's it for this edition of Fallout 4 Mods You Must Have. We hope you found some new and exciting mods to add to your game. Be sure to check out the Nexus and Bethesda.net for even more mods to enhance your Fallout 4 experience. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Fallout 4 content and hit that notification bell to be notified when we release new videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the wasteland.